Hello, my name is Kevin Ward. I'm the General Manager of the Trinity River Authority of Texas. I'm here to share information about Lake Livingston and the dam and how it operates, particularly when areas are experiencing severe flooding due to the historically intense and prolonged storms over the past several months. First, I want to express heartfelt compassion for the hardship and disruption that many of you are experiencing. The recent rainfall has significantly increased water levels in rivers and reservoirs across Texas, leading to widespread flooding. In the Trinity River Basin, historic rainfall surrounding Lake Livingston, combined with heavy storms in North Texas, have brought an unprecedented amount of water to the Trinity River and Lake Livingston. Grounds saturated from heavy rainfall are struggling to soak in any more water while swollen streams have cut through neighborhoods and displaced thousands. Our governor issued an initial disaster declaration April 30th. This storm season has been a disaster for so many. TRA does not issue disaster declarations or evacuation orders. That has to come from emergency management officials. We want to be transparent about the operations of the dam at Lake Livingston, and this video will answer some of your questions. TRA owns and operates Lake Livingston and the dam. The water in the lake is a drinking water source for the city of Houston and a number of local governments and communities around Lake Livingston. Lake Livingston was not designed for flood control and it has no ability to store flood waters. Operating a lake and dam 365 days a year, 24 hours a day during heavy rains and drought conditions takes skilled men and women and we continuously coordinate with local emergency management services. The operation of the dam relies on approved gate operating procedures, safety, and a balancing of the lake's purpose, as well as where the rain falls, how fast it falls, and how long a rain event lasts. To answer some of the questions we've been asked, we're going to speak to two staff members who work at the dam and live in the area. My name is Chad Holton. I'm the project manager here at Lake Livingston. Uh, one of the most frequent questions that we have during a high flow event is how come we don't pre-release. And to answer that, really two things. Number one is the reservoir was designed as a water conservation reservoir, not a flood control reservoir. And number two is just the uncertainty of weather forecast. You never know when, where, or how much it's gonna rain. It could actually even aggravate flooding situations downstream. A good example of that is Tropical Storm Emilda back in 2019. You know, they projected that system really to move north of the dam and rain quite a bit right on top of the reservoir when in fact, all and most all the rain fell below the, the dam at the reservoir. And so in that scenario, just like I said, we would have aggravated situations downstream versus uh, here at the lake. The reservoir was built in the 1960s and opened to the public in 1971 uh, as a water conservation reservoir for the city of Houston and surrounding communities. City of Houston owns 70% of the water rights of this reservoir. When the reservoir was built, it was built with the intention to store water up to 131 feet above mean sea level. So our gate operation procedures that we have in place are designed to maintain and return the reservoir to 131 feet above mean sea level in an orderly fashion. And so when we have a high flow event like what we just experienced, we're constantly monitoring the elevation right here at the dam. And so we look at how much the reservoir has, has increased in elevation over a period of time. And based on that, we can calculate how much water is coming into the reservoir. So what we're doing is trying to as long as we're above 131, we're just trying to release how much water is coming into the reservoir until we get to the peak of the flood. And after that, then we're gonna start releasing water in an orderly fashion until we get back down to 131 foot above mean sea level. Uh, my name is Rick Davis. I'm the Assistant Project Manager of Operations here at Lake Livingston Dam. And during a high flow event or a major flood, we really do not alter our gate operating procedure. We continue to try to pass flows as they come into the lake and simply pass them down the basin, trying to mimic the behavior of the river system as if the reservoir wasn't here. Our standard procedures during a high flow event include increased monitoring of the dam, the spillway, and the embankment, just for any anomalies or 
slides or anything we might notice that seems out of place. Uh, we do increase our instrument readings as well as our visual inspections of the entire dam system here at Lake Lake's doing any kind of high flow or flood event. Although we coordinate with all of the county emergency management officials for the counties downstream in the basin, TRA does not issue any uh, evacuation orders or declarations for evacuation for any of those communities. This falls into the responsibility of the county officials and emergency management coordinators that have far more detailed information of what communities flood at what levels and when these residents need to get out. We understand the damage that the recent heavy rains have caused. TRA will continue to operate the dam to the best of its ability. We will monitor the comments generated from this video, so please comment if you have any questions that we were not able to cover and we will do our best to answer them.